if you are doing a master or PhD by research and if you are working as a material scientist or students of material science or you are synthesizing something you must need to answer these questions what is crystallized size what is grain size what is particle size this is a heat debate on the research gate in other uh, places that whether crystallized size are equal to grain size or equal to particle size let me make, make clear from this slide that particle is very very big this is this ball is a particle it's very understood this is a particle and this is the particle size and the grain size you can see or the crystallized size is the small small pages i zoom it this is the grain size so i will make it more clear uh, let's go to the real scenario that uh, what is happening here let's go to ms world and i have prepared here so let's define first crystallite crystallite is basically a small crystal it could be made of many many atoms or molecules so one student asked me that what is atom then what is molecule then what is crystallite look now atoms are very small molecules are very small it means that two atoms combine to make a molecules this means molecule is bigger than atoms an atom is the smallest two atoms two are more than two atoms combined to make a molecules look now crystallite crystallite it is made up many many molecules or atoms this means this is the smallest thing here crystallite size is smaller than grain size sometimes uh, it is equal for example look now this separate area is your grain this is also your crystallite so mean crystallite is equal to grain what i learned that in most of the circumstances the grain or crystallite are the two similar thing look these figures here this is another grain this is also crystallite because in this one grain all the planes the lattice plane are in the same direction so this means it is a single crystal so this is a single crystal means it is a grain and it is a crystallite and if you say it is not a grain then why we call this grain boundaries because this grain is separated from this grain and that location that dislocation we call grain boundaries you see and we basically use xrd diagram to find the size of the crystallite size of the crystallite here and using Scherer formula let's now come to grain here what is basically grain they they say that grain made up with crystallites it is also possible that sometime grain can be made from crystallites this is why we call that sometimes grains are also equal to uh, particle if you are talking about nanoparticle it is very very small so this means that if that particle is uh, just like one grain so you can say that grain is equal to uh, particle grain combines to form a particle you see when grain combine the, the one i show both grain and crystallite are single crystal you see here they mean this is that both grain and crystallite are single crystal so this means that both grain and crystallite are same same stuff no difference we use tm micrographs to measure the grain size we also use xrd to use uh, the Scherer formula to find the full width at half maxima and from there we will find I will find this in another video and here you use MHJ software to measure the grain size you see here now let's go to particles particle is agglomerate this is particle basically the, the, this pool is one particle <laughs> you will see how it is made up numerous grains and this agglomerate is small enough in size to you cannot consider that is a bulk or thin film because you cannot consider that is a bulk or thin film but it comprises of two grains or more grains because it must be a two or more than two crystal or grains and particle also made of uh, grains so let's see here this is this is one particle and let me go to tim micrographs and you will it will be more clear for example this is one particle nanoparticle it is understood particle particle is a particle and you will see that let's focus this particle here this is one particle nanoparticle yes 
so the you see zoom it that particle so it is made up 100 grains their particles you see 100 grains are crystallized so this is very very clear now that particle size greater are equal to grain size and grain size greater than crystallized size are sometimes equal I explain that the grain and crystallite are mostly equal but sometimes grain made up many crystallites and sometimes particle is equal to grain but particle is always made up grains and crystallite so in exceptional cases you make them equals but in mostly crystallite is the smallest after that the grain is the smaller and particle is the biggest largest you can see crystallite size here the crystallite size is the smallest then grain size grain size is smaller than particle size so particle is very big after that grain is big after that crystallite is big and crystallite is made from atom and atom are molecules so crystallite is the smallest which you can measure here you see here and it's now very very clear and do not make any mistake any confusion in this thanks for watching